In this video, we've brought you the latest must-have new mods you should be keeping an eye on. From incredible new move sets to gameplay and visuals, we've got some astonishing things to share with you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The first category I'd like to introduce to you is animation. Particularly, there has been a recent surge in impressive move sets. Although they are still in development, I want to highlight some of the noteworthy move sets that continue to hold significance. First off, we have the Vindictus Latia Lance MCO move set. This remarkable move set is the first of its kind based on the Lance. It executes powerful and devastating thrusting attacks with the Lance. It allows for forward pushes, culminating in a formidable thrusting strike, perfectly emulating Vindictus's dynamic combat style. Furthermore, when used in conjunction with the recently released Gun Slicer's Warhammer animations, the movements and attack animations flow together quite smoothly. However, please note that for the idle animation, it is advisable to retain Latia Lance's original animation as it connects seamlessly with the attack moveset. If you're concerned about Bash, how about trying Mofu's Block Bash? His Block Bash transforms your Block Bash into a kick. Enjoy a more stylish Skyrim with the combination of a heavy lance and flashy kick. Next up is the For Honor in Skyrim Kyoshin moveset. This moveset utilizes the katana weapon from the cosplay pack. Kyoshin wields the sword and hilt to deliver powerful and versatile attacks. One of the key highlights of this move set is the Kazi stance. When in this stance, your character employs the sword spine art. I couldn't help but think that, when used in conjunction with attack parry mode, it might also be effective in blocking arrows and magic. Join me in experiencing this stylish katana animation for yourself. Next up, I've brought you an even more stylish moveset. It called Final Fantasy 16 Action Pack, crafted by Old Fire. In this moveset, when you link normal attacks with power attacks, your character employs powerful magic, casting fireballs at enemies. Additionally, you can teleport to swiftly strike foes and trigger a potent cross slash to assail them. The moveset also incorporates dynamic aerial attacks, giving it a distinct action game feel. If you're a player who aspires to be a stylish magic wielder, I believe you'll find this move set quite appealing. Next, we have the Wolong Quarterstaff moveset. This moveset allows you to use the Quarterstaff moveset from Wo Long Fallen Dynasty in Skyrim, featuring sharp blades at both ends of the long staff. The distinctive style of attacking while spinning the quarterstaff, combined with its flexibility, makes this move set particularly valuable for players who appreciate the quarterstaff art style. Now, let's introduce Vanargand Animations 2, Female Idle Walk and Run. This mod is the second installment in the Van Argand animation series, offering animations suitable for characters using light armor and one-handed weapons. The standing animation cycles through various poses for 30 seconds, while both the walking and running animations support movements in forward and sideways directions. It provides even more polished movements compared to the previous series, enhancing immersion with high-quality motion animations. I highly recommend giving it a try for yourself. Next, let me introduce you to Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Inspired by Baldur's Gate 3, this mod is based on combat taunt animations. Once installed, it automatically grants you a power that only works when you have melee weapons or fists equipped and drawn. Using this power, you can make humanoid creatures fall to the ground and burst into laughter for 20 seconds. It's a playful and humorous addition. This mod will certainly bring a touch of fun and whimsy to your Skyrim adventures. 
This time, I'd like to introduce you to some noteworthy gameplay-related mods recently released on Test Nexus. Firstly, we have Show NPC oh, Disposition you. Relationship Fine, Rank. This mod provides My a feature that displays the relationship level between you. NPCs and the player in the dialogue menu. It is compatible with the Rogues Gallery mod. With this mod, the relationship level of NPCs is shown as a number ranging from 4 to 4, which influences their attitude and dialogue accordingly. Next, we have Show Follower Carry Weight. This mod displays the follower's current carrying capacity in the trade menu when conducting transactions with them. If the follower has a perk that makes certain items weightless, the carrying capacity may vary slightly. With this mod, it becomes more convenient for you to allocate the right items to your NPC follower during your travels together. This time, I'll introduce you to some visual-related mods. First up, we have LLF Particle Lights instead of Fake Glow. This mod is based on the Light Limit Fix, which removes fake glow effects and replaces them with LLF Particle Lights. LLF Particle Lights refer to particles that actually emit light. For example, when you look at a flame in Skyrim, you'll see a yellowish glow around it. This is just a texture and doesn't actually emit light. This mod removes these fake glow textures and instead makes flames emit actual light. This results in Skyrim's lighting looking more realistic and beautiful. Next up is Carts Remodeled. This mod, created by Mathy79, enhances the models and textures of carts. It increases the detail and realism of the carts while providing a new design that fits the game's immersive atmosphere. Additionally, we have Sax Remodeled. This mod remodels and improves the textures of all types of sacks, offering sacks with natural colors and details that blend seamlessly with Skyrim's atmosphere. Installing this mod will make Skyrim's world feel more vibrant and realistic. Don't forget to check out Phyx High Hrothgar Collisions as well. This mod adds new collisions to High Hrothgar's steps, fixing bugs where players get stuck when climbing the steps. Since this mod doesn't come with an ESP file, the chances of conflicts with other mods are low. But we're not done yet. Be sure to take a look at Imperial Stable Stonewall Replacer 2. This mod replaces the Stonewall meshes of the Imperial Stable with the Farmhouse Stonewall meshes, giving Skyrim's Imperial Stable with the Farmhouse a more splendid and upscale feel. Lastly, let me introduce you to Coco Mulan. Coco Mulan offers a unique elven warrior style outfit. The hood on the shoulders and the skirt at the waist come with physics support, creating a sexy ensemble complemented by straps and a garter belt. It comes in four different colors, and you can adjust it to fit your preferred CBBE or UUNP body type using Body Slide. Add a touch of allure and uniqueness to your Skyrim experience with this enchanting outfit. Thank you for joining us on this journey through these incredible Skyrim mods. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing content. And as always, may your adventures in Skyrim be epic and your modding endeavors be seamless. Until next time, happy gaming, 